There is no doubt line haul driving can be a lonely job, especially at night. When it comes to safety, there are many hazards both on and off the road. This video has been created from a study of line haul drivers in Queensland to provide greater awareness of some of the health and safety risks drivers experience. What makes line haul driving difficult in the general freight industry is the only thing routine about the job is the route itself. Every night road conditions can be different and the load can be different. With freight ranging from mail bags to large heavy mining equipment, parts and supplies for regional towns, for drivers getting to their next destination, uploading, reloading and restraining loads back up within time frames keep them on the run. In the study, drivers reported there are many health and safety hazards that they need to manage on a nightly basis to stay safe. Some regional and remote locations have smaller depots and restricted space which might require parking in loading bays close to walls or boundary fences with access only to the driver's side of the trailer. Workplace conditions at depots may also expose drivers to hazards such as poor lighting and uneven surfaces. Lone work during the night is experienced at some remote locations. This means drivers have no assistance or spotters to help them with unloading activities. It also means if something goes wrong, help may not be nearby in an emergency. A unique activity also performed by line haul driving is uplifting. This is when freight at one depot along the route is to be loaded onto the trailer for delivery further down the line. Uplifting is one of those jobs that's different all the time. As the freight size and weight is unpredictable, if things don't go to plan when doing an uplift, it can cause delays for the driver and issues down the road. Unfortunately, in 2017, a driver was conducting an uplift by holding the restraining straps in his hand while loading freight underneath the straps. The hanging straps were pulled into the forklift cage as the driver moved forward with the freight. The driver's leg became entangled in a strap and as he reversed away from the vehicle, he was pulled from the forklift. He was not wearing a seatbelt at the time and the driver sustained a serious and life-changing injury. Versions of this practice are quite common in the industry, with workers seemingly unaware of the risk of entanglement. When performing an uplift, drivers should ensure restraining straps are secured safely out of the way for the new load to be placed on the trailer. This is especially important when restraining straps are hanging over freight on a mezzanine floor. If restraining straps are left in situ during unload and reload situations, the risk of entanglement is high. Follamont Transport are working on a pilot project to engineer this risk out of their business. The strap guide has been designed to accommodate restraining straps as trailer gates are moved clear of the section for unload. This, combined with the use of the trucker's trident, has proven an effective method for eliminating the risk of entanglement when unloading and reloading. Once the new load is in place, the driver is able to replace the gate into position and in doing so, the restraining strap is pulled back over the freight ready for restraining. Follamont believe this new approach has the potential to improve safety in the industry. They are currently undertaking a trial of the equipment on a western line haul run to gather feedback from the drivers who face the challenges of uplifts on a regular basis. This video has been produced by Follamont Transport through an enforceable undertaking in which they have committed to developing and implementing tangible and sustainable improvements to health and safety in their workplaces and the transport industry.